Hello everybody, today we've got yours truly, the worst question I personally believe in the whole of A-level biology, the classic, the one and only, pressure changes in the cardiac cycle. <laughs> so if you struggle with this one, you're not alone, everyone pretty much does, because there's too, there's just too much to say. Where does one start? What is happening? We'll go through it, okay? Pause the video here, try the question out, and then continue on to see how I approach it. Okay, so number one, read the question first. It says, use the figure, compare the changes in pressure in the left ventricle and with the pressures or pressure in the left atrium. So I can identify it on the diagram where it is. We're not going to talk about the aorta at all. That's fine. We understand. But the question is, what does compare mean? Compare means look at the similarities and differences. So the similarities I've written in green and the differences in blue. So for this question here, <laughs> amount of times I've <laughs> uh, done this question is a bit unhealthy. Because every time I, I learnt something different in terms of the exam technique, um, it's such a, an innocent question, dare I say, but it's not at the same time. Because to do this, you need to be able to kind of like train your, your mind to think of like um, two s different graphs, essentially. And then look at the different stages. And then you need to also think to yourself, well, how can I write this? How do I write it, you know? How can I say it in the way that the mark scheme wants? So from this question, I remember I made this sort of framework where I was like, okay, are there, are they like similar? Um, are they similar in terms of their decrease or increases? What are the steepnesses like? Because it's a graph, you know how it is. Um, which one has the highest increase or decrease? I know that when you're given a figure, you always want to use um, data values and the units. Why? It's because it's a mark, like on its own. Uh, next thing is just like, are there, any, are there any points that there are no changes? Stuff like that. So as I work through each of these questions, it adds up to the answer. So the first one's like, yeah, from 0 0.5 seconds, there's no change in pressure. Right, cool. So where is 0 0.5? It's here. There is no change. In both of them okay so i like compared them it's a similarity great okay that's one mark next one similar increase and decrease in pressure from 0 to 0 0.5 sec 0 0.15 seconds sorry so it's here it's saying there are similar increase and decrease okay do you see how both of them right the gap between them is quite like very very small so when they're increasing it's essentially very similar and then when they're decreasing again it's similar so that's two marks already. Right, we're on to a great start. In terms of the differences, we can say many things. Look at the steepness. It tells you what you need to write, okay? It's, you know, it's no uh, rocket science to think that, oh, the left ventricle's graph is more steeper than the left atrium. Look, look at this, right? This is more steep than this. So... That's why that is a mark in itself. Steep rise in ventricular pressure. Next one is at approximately 0 0.15 seconds, the atrial pressure has a small rise and fall, but the ventricular is increasing. So what I mean by that is, do you notice how um, it's like increasing, but then it decreases? Whereas at that same point, look at, ooh, increase. So that's how you can follow the framework and then also get the answer. The thing is, because it's a graph, right? Um, in the mark scheme, typically they have this sort of thing called idea that the candidate says this. So you can, you can word it the way that is worded here. You can word it slightly different, but if you get the same points, then you, you're sorted, you know, it's fine. You're going to get the marks. So the challenge here is... How can I talk about everything? There's too much. I don't know how, where to start. don't know what to do. But it's fine only when you have a framework for graph questions. For this specific one, these are my specific questions that I have. With other graphs, they differ, but it's basically the same. Where are the increases? Where are the decreases? What's the steepness? Give me some units. Where are there no changes? That's really it. Like, there is no need to um, 
overthink this. This question stays the same every single year, and it comes up pretty much every year as well. So if you can just like memorize it or have the framework so you can apply it to different variations of this graph's question, um, you should be good to go because this is a four marker and we've got four points here. So yeah, that is the end of today's episode. Remember, the two most important exam technique tips are read the question first and state all the obvious points. And over to you. Try some questions and let me know how it goes.